I don't want to be tied down. I'm not sure what I want to do. I know I'm good enough to make something of my life. I want the flexibility to be able to learn what I like. I want to do stuff, experience things, just get out there. But I know qualifications are important. Diplomas? Don't really know much about them. Yeah, my mates never did one. They're new, aren't they? That's right. They're a new two-year course that you can start when you're 14 or 16. Yes, diplomas have been designed in partnership with employers in both the public and the private sector to help develop the skills we need in the modern workplace. This is 3D render of our engine. Now, as you can see, there are the green struts which will correspond along to the bolt models. Everything's really hands-on and it looks really interesting. I'd get to try things for myself, not read it from a book or watch somebody else do it for me. Oh, this one here? Yeah, that's right here. Okay. So, is that the end of GCSEs and A-levels? Not at all. GCSEs and A-levels will continue as they are. A diploma is an alternative for students who enjoy combining theoretical and practical learning. And there's an option of doing GCSEs and A-levels as part of one. Hang on a minute. So does this mean they're just as good as GCSEs and A-levels? Absolutely. What they are is a different way of learning. What they enable you to do is gain the skills that you need that are valued by employers, education and training providers. Yes, there are three levels to the diploma, the foundation, the higher and the advanced diploma. The foundation diploma is the equivalent of four to five GCSEs at grade D to G and the higher diploma is the equivalent of five to six GCSEs at grades A to C. And an advanced diploma is about the same as three A-levels. And there's one other advanced diploma as well. That's a progression diploma. That's the equivalent to two A-levels. Construction and building. I thought this was going to be a bit dull. But it's actually really creative. I'd never have guessed I'd be doing this kind of stuff. So, is there a lot of written work? Well, you get to learn the theory behind things, but you also get to see how things work in practice. OK, so start really slowly, don't rush it. One, and the other, perfect. Doing and not talking about it is a way I like to find out about things. I reckon stuff like this would be dead handy if I wanted He's to get really a job. Well. He's been doing it for or maybe even go on to uni. Half hour sessions daily. And uh, we're just taking it really slow. Okay. So I could do another course after my diploma? Yeah, what about university? A diploma is a bit of a stepping stone into employment. Or you can develop your skills at college or university. It's recognised by both employers and universities. Yeah, as an employer, we recognise that a young person coming into the workforce with a diploma not only has the essential skills that we need, but has also gone through the process of making choices. I work for a large construction company, but I know that there are companies within the IT sector that also value diplomas in the same way that we do. I believe that the diploma does give somebody that unique way of almost learning about an industry, learning about a role, before deciding to take it up. Would you like to just pass those round and you can have a look at what technology is like these days? They're learning from things you use every day. Well, this was my phone when I was younger. <laughs> well, what some people used to. It's so different from what I was expecting. <laughs> so what do you think about this one, then? It's like the best of both worlds. <laughs> So, what subjects can we do? Well, as of September 2008, there'll be five different diplomas. There'll be Creative and Media, Society, Health and Development, Construction of the Built Environment, Engineering and Information Technology. And in future, more subjects will be introduced, making up to 14 diplomas in all. Fashion, photography, video. Creative studies covers so much, and you're not tied down to one area. I think it looks really good. This way, I can keep all my options open. Where can you do a diploma? 
Most of your studies will be in school or college, but some of it will be outside the classroom, in a more adult environment. So, will we get the chance to experience work as well? Yes, you will. You'll be offered at least 10 days work experience within an industry sector. Oh. Where, Where have you been? been? I've been checking stuff out. Oh, you've missed out. Oh. Sit down. I've seen so much already, but I wanted to know, what's the difference between a diploma and an apprenticeship? I mean, I know you get a lot of practical learning as an apprentice. That's right. Apprenticeships are set up in such a way that they enable you to have the skills for a particular job. Diplomas are slightly different. It's a lot more flexible. There's a lot more options. All right. Thanks. Well, they've answered all my questions. Everything's really clear. Yeah, I feel like I've got more options now. <laughs> OK, so let me get this right. A diploma is every bit as good as GCSEs and A-levels, but it's just a practical way of learning. It gives you the skills employers are looking for, so I shouldn't have any trouble with getting a good job. And you can go on to college or university if you want to. Well, it seems right for me. What do you reckon? Up for it? Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs>